Alright, so we're here at my castle where I'm crafting it still. In the middle of making it. That seems a little dark to have him there, but then have a head of another one there. Anyway, <laughs> just noticed that. But I thought I'd post a video on a trick for placing pillars, because when you place a pillar, you can place it in the center here, but sometimes you might want it at the center edge, or you might want it at the corner there, and have it set up like here. Got my main tower here that's got pillars all the way up at the corners. And then you got this cathedral, and they're between all of the, um, windows. There we go. Couldn't find a word for windows. But the problem was, once I placed these down, I went to place the walls, and the walls were fine, but I couldn't place the windows. So I had to place walls first, and then snap the windows where the walls were, destroying the walls, wasting the material. But at least it let me place the, uh, windows, you know? So. But yeah, I like that little style. Just a little extra context to it. There was one took, um... Like, fence foundations and put them along the walls to add more details. But I can't overlap stuff, so I don't know how that works out. But here, let me show you the trick. So you can do it from the side or up, so like sometimes like if you're down below and you're trying to set it up on like a roof, let's say like right here, and you want it to be, let's say, at this corner here, and put a pillar up, and put, the, oh, wrong thing, but then you can just climb up and get rid of it and fix it, which works better anyway, because then I can get rid of the things afterward that up there since that because the pillar snaps to the center of the stair and then that snaps to that then you can do this see that's one thing that aggravates me like it looks like it's placed in there but it just snapped on that one so let's try again yep here you go there's that one there's that one and now we got one on the corner and one right there and you want to destroy these in a specific order, because if you don't, it might mess things up. So let's see. Oh, normally if I do that, it'll get rid of the pillar and everything else and stuff like that. But this time I didn't do it. Normally you want to destroy the stairs first. And then the center pillar. And then, and then you can get rid of that. And now you just got those two things. And if you want them to be too high up... You gotta do it while the while you're initially placing it. So like here I'll show you this next thing. Because that one is so close, it would be hard to just do it like this, I believe. Right? Ah. Is it gonna let me? Thought I had it for a second. Nope. Because that's there, it's not going to work. And because that's there, it's not going to work. So you just go up one more. No, I messed that up. Yeah, once you get rid of that, it messes up. So let me try this again. Place that there. That got rid of it. Yeah. Sometimes you got to start back over if you sit there and get rid of stuff. So put that there. Put that there. Yeah, it's aggravating when you're not in creative mode. Gotta sit here and hop over everything. Come on. Thumb snap points. There's layer number two. You can put that there. And now you can put that there. Put that next to it and you can do the two down. And then, if you wanted just the one, you could get rid of it, but after this, you can't stack another one. So I would just leave that if you wanted it to be too high or not. And then you would just get rid of that, and then that, and then you can get rid of the center one, and then that, and then this one will stay there. Yep. That's pretty much it. Boop.
Boop. And I don't want these here, so I'm going to get rid of them. But yeah, that was the example. I had sat there and placed a single pillar in each of these spots and then set, had to sit there and redo all of them to get a second one on there. Thanks for watching.